This is David from Team 6141, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your radio. So, um, whenever you go to a competition, um, your radio, which is the Wi-Fi access point that your computer will be connecting to wirelessly in order for you to compete, um, is going to be programmed at the competition. So, you're going to give it to somebody, and they are going to program your radio. Um, but when you're like at school or with your team, and you're testing out uh, your robot code and you're testing out your robot and you're driving around and stuff you need to set it up yourself so in this video I'm gonna teach you how to set it up um, so at the competition it's set up differently than when you set it up so like by yourself so after you finish a competition every time uh, and you take it back to your school you're gonna have to set it up again so this is how you would do that um, so this is these are the instructions that are on the um, Whiplib website. You're going to need one more piece of software, which is the FRC radio configuration. You're going to download it. It's going to be a zip. You just unzip it and install the files. Uh, once you do that, you can run it. I already have it installed from last year because it's the same version, so we'll just do uh, radio, FRC radio utility. So I'm going to wait for it to open up. And so here it is. Um, I'm going to be doing this over Ethernet, so I'll click OK. And so then this is uh, the app. So you can see here there are some instructions. Um, if it doesn't work, then there are some other, obviously this is the website. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to say team number 6141, because that's our team number. Um, I'm going to put robot name. We had it named as Kevin2, so I'll, just to make sure it works, I'll name it Kevin underscore, oops underscore three um, the radio this is the type of radio some people some teams use d-link radios um, our team is using an open mesh radio so I'll leave it as open mesh um, the access point we'll just leave it as 2.4 gigahertz and then that's it you just click configure one important thing I think I should mention is uh, you're going to need to have you're going to have to connect your computer or a laptop to the radio and it can, it's going to have to be specifically in this port for it to work so, and it should be almost done so bridge program successfully what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wire up the radio to the robo Rio really quickly here Okay, and so now I'm going to close this. If I go, I don't even need to go into a driver station because I'm just going to connect to it via Wi Fi. So if I look at my radio, the Wi Fi still hasn't been set up because, or the Wi Fi network isn't up because the orange light isn't solid orange. So I'll just wait for that to happen. Oh, and here it is. So as you can see, 6141 Kevin 3. And then if you I should be able to see the robot connected via Wi-Fi. I'm not connected via any cables or anything. It's just Wi-Fi. And we'll see. Communication light should be green. Yeah, and there it is. Communication light green. You can see the image on the Rio and everything working. So yeah, that's it. That was that video. Fairly simple. And that's how to program your radio. See you next time.